Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now, this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now, let's try to see what is the main energy at the start of the day. Okay, we have here the Seven of Swords. Somebody's a little bit sneaky, okay? But sneaky in a positive way. Um, this can be your energy, or this can be an energy of another person that is uh, somehow interacting with you right now. Now, this person, or this energy, is trying to avoid conflict. And to avoid conflict, they are trying to remove all the swords. And to bury some of the swords which they cannot remove. Okay, you see here, uh, they're trying to avoid uh, things that can cause arguments. They're trying to remove those things. And uh, those passwords that they cannot change anymore, they just try to bury it. So in a certain sense, it's this is a good energy. It's uh, whoever this person is, whether it be you or somebody related to you, they try to remove past experiences that can be used as, uh, you know, used as weapons against other people or against you, or you are trying to remove all those things. You you try to be, this, this energy tries to be just in such a way wherein this energy is good enough not to use past experiences as um, sort of material for further arguments or to fuel arguments. In fact, some of the swords see buried. So it means uh, he, this energy lets bygone be bygone. So in a certain sense, it's um, a very positive and in a positive energy in a sense that this energy tries to prevent further conflict to escalate. Maybe even trying to find win-win situation. And tries not to talk about things in the past, knowing that these things are already, you cannot change them already. And so the, the energy or the person, who, whether it be you or the other person related to you, is trying to avoid past experiences as causes for conflict. So this is a very good energy. So if this is your energy, I think it is a good energy that you have at this moment. If it is the energy of the other person and this person is relating to you, maybe it will help also if you would take the same stance as this person wherein you try to remove and try not to use past experiences as sources for argument and to try to bury certain things that you know you cannot change anymore. I feel if your energy and the energy of the other person, which is more of a reconciliatory energy, if you unite with the same energy, then I feel both of you will be able to move forward to a better relationship situation in the near future so um it's for me i think it's a positive energy now let's try to see how this will further unfold okay i feel yes the eight of pentacles it shows here this person is uh, dedicating himself or herself on doing things that are productive things that are creative things that are constructive okay so instead of if you are in a dialogue with somebody instead of talking of things that will lead to disunity or conflict it's better to work on creating things together so a constructive dialogue so in a certain sense i feel this is what is being asked here right now wherein you talk and work together with the other party on something that will be very productive 
you creatively find ways where both of you can work together for the benefit of all concerned. Now, what is the advice of the universe for us? Well, there will be some challenges along the way. But you're a person on fire. And the person you deal with are people also who are on fire. If you can direct your energies, your your zeal, the both of oh, you and the other parties, you, if you are able to look at things objectively and work together, then instead of conflict, you will be able to create great things together. So yes, uh, it's like these people, they're not really attacking. They're waiting for you on how you can communicate with them. You are on fire. They are also on fire. And somehow you have an advantage because you get, you are on a higher ground and you get to see things in a more objective way. In a certain sense, you can turn uh, possible aggressors or potential aggressors into potential or possible comrades or comrades or possible co-workers if you can win them if you can get a win-win situation the fire that you have and the fire that they have will allow both parties to accomplish great things this is what i can see in our tarot reading let's now go to good morning oracle Okay, for our good morning oracle. Oh, okay, they jumped already. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's see. Self-worth and transformation. Okay. Yeah, I think if you recognize your self-worth, your capacity to create things, if you recognize also the fire that is within you, then you will not give attention to conflict. But instead, give attention to inspiring others to work together with you. So in a certain sense, yes. Self-worth also is knowing that you will not allow other people to take advantage of you. Here is a person who knows how to get what he wants. He knows his value. He knows his capacity. A person who is able to look at things objectively also knows his worth. A person who is an artisan, one who really strives for the best, is a person also who recognizes his worth. So I feel it's very important here as you dialogue with other people to remember your self-worth. Now, transformation. Transformation can be not just a personal transformation, but it can be also a communal or cumulative transformation you can also change or you can also lead other people towards transformation now the seven the card of the seven of ones can also symbolize that of a teacher a mentor a guide so in a certain sense your transformation which is usually coupled with the realization of your worth as a person can also lead other people to further transformation oftentimes you become a mystery to people and they say there's something different with this person this person is able to make it through to strife and still be cheerful still have a positive attitude when they observe that in you then you in a certain sense inspire them to be like you also oftentimes people are drawn to people who are question marks people who are a mystery in a positive way so in a certain sense you can also lead to transformation of others well that's it for today i hope you were able to benefit from our reading thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i hope to see you again soon until that time may god continue to bless your ways